There's winners and losers across the Sunshine Coast and Gympie in Campbell Newman's LNP frontbench reshuffle. But in an astounding move to make the region the party's political powerhouse, every local MP has been entrusted with a major portfolio or position. A new look front bench for the new look LNP. Member for Gympie David Gibson's the big winner after he was shafted to the back bench for openly criticising then leader John Paul Langbrook. He's back in the game a shadow local government and sport minister. On the Sunshine Coast, member for Noosa Glenn Elms has been demoted, stripped of police and made shadow parliamentary secretary for tourism. For the people who are coming in after me, there's a lot of the work done now prior to the election, so that's a disappointment. A changing of the guard for Marucci Dawes Fiona Simpson, losing transport for Waste Watch, community services, housing and women. A high cost of living caused by government waste and mismanagement and we will be like terriers going in there after the government. The biggest challenges have been handballed to two untested MPs. Environment will be no walk in the park for Glasshouse member Andrew Powell. I think it's timely given our, the debates that are currently occurring around Caloundra South and our, our debates around sustainable development. While Budgerham's Steve Dixon's on energy and water utilities. I want to make sure that the people of Queensland have an efficient, effective water supply at a very reasonable price. Calandra's Mark McArdle keeps health, so too Kiwana MP Jared Blay with Shadow Attorney General duties. With every minister covered, the region would likely be in a place of privilege if Campbell Newman can lead the LNP to victory, but not everyone's convinced. Anna Bly today saying nothing about the new team makes her nervous. Simon Ward, Win News.